Hello friends, welcome back to Invest with Tara. In my last video, we had learned about how to pull options chain data for any particular script and then to how to extract certain specific data from that option chain sheet to another Excel sheet and how to auto save those data. The Excel sheet in front of you is one similar program. In this program, also we uh, pull options chain uh, data of a particular script and then we uh, copy certain specific data but these specific data corresponds to the maximum values of that particular range so many users had this query about how to pull maximum values of uh, say open interest or change in open interest or volume in this video i'll only be demonstrating what i've done in this uh, program and i would want your comments to how to improve this program so i'll only brief you about what the program does so now here uh, the script i have chosen is for bail barat heavy electricals limited the url is uh, copied here and it is for current fund expiry that is december month expiry and uh, the rest of the program is same i have introduced one more sheet wherein we get uh, live data depending upon this values so the current data that we could say now we simply click on the pull option data to pull the option change sheet of bail now here you could see option change uh, sheet of bail for the day December 20 2019 after the closing period is uh, pulled onto this uh, worksheet and one another sheet is uh, created wherein we will be copying certain specific data so that is the maximum value so what I have done in this program is I have taken this uh, column B and have uh, used the function of V lookup and other functions max functions to find the maximum value so now the maximum value here open interest is at 42.90 so what I've done is I've taken uh, this maximum value onto another sheet and copied these entire range with the strike price so uh, what we'll do is we'll first run the uh, second macro and see what happens so it is copy specific data now here when I go to BLC so here you could see uh, that certain data are copied so um, I'll simply copy the first part or first row and here so now you could see here uh, the maximum value of open interest change in open interest and the volume is copied for the call side here along with the strike price and the similar is the case with the put side so if we were to cross verify so for strike price 50 42 lakh 90 thousand open interest which is the maximum open interest available so here it is it is strike 50 now uh, if we were to check the change in open interest maximum change in open interest has occurred at 8 lakh 17 thousand five hundred which is at strike price of 45 so this 45 8 lakh 17500 and the maximum volume is also at strike price of 45 so here also if you could see 816 similar is the case with uh, the put side so now it, it is 19 lakh 27500 which is the maximum oi now here you could see the maximum change in oi is also at the same strike price as well as the volume is also at the same strike price so this is the strike price of 40 so when we go to bail and we try to check that value so strike price of 40 1927500 9,37,500 and 284 is the volume which is the maximum volume and along with that the net change LTP and IB is also copied so this is what the program does and uh, I have uh, uh, refresh the data like I have automated the process after every seven minutes like what I've done is I have uh, put a refresh period for this option change sheet that is the option change sheet gets refreshed after every five minutes 
and after every seven minutes these data are copied so that they don't overlap with each other or they don't provide you with the redundant data so after seven minutes um, like after, uh, this is what this was at 10 10 0, 9 so after seven minutes say 10 17 and on 10 17 uh, the next data will be copied uh, we could wait for that or or I'll simply uh, fast forward it to 10 17 and see what happens now here we could see that after seven minutes the entire data is refreshed and the new data is copied here and same is the case with this summary sheet now the summary sheet here actually gives you the current data now here you could see that for bail Bharat Epi Electric is limited the strike price of 40 has highest volume as well as highest change in volume as well as highest open interest which tells you that for this current month expiry the strike price or the uh, stock price won't go below 40 rupees whereas on the call side uh, the maximum OI is at 50, 50 rupees and the change positive change in uh, OI is seen at 45 people believe that the strike price of 45 will hold good and the stock price won't go above 45 whereas here the negative value at 50 for like 35,000 implies that who all have shorted the stock at strike price of 50 are now moving away or uh, either they are liquidating to another position say for the next month expiry or they are booking profit so this is what uh, open interest change in open interest and volume implies to us uh, well I believe most of you know about this aspect of uh, open interest change in open interest volume and the movement of price and um, I believe if any one of you have more uh, logic or to put into this program or any ideas that could be incorporated in this program please write to me in the comment section below or you can mail to me at investwithara at gmail.com so that the same could be incorporated and in one single video all those aspects could be programmed or could be taught to programmed I hope you might have liked this video if you have liked this video kindly like share and subscribe Further, for any queries, you can write to me in the comment section below. Thank you.